just shows how ingrained perceptions or attitudes of race are in humans and in law enforcement, and does one change that? I mean, do you believe it can be changed? Great question, Anderson Cooper. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it can be changed. I, I like to think that it can, but, uh, I, and I like to think that this is the beginning of that happening. Um, but it will take a lot of work Luckily, it seems like a lot of people are committed to doing the work. So, yeah. friggin' fingers crossed. I mean, what's, it's, it's also, I mean, you're, you, you're a comedian, you're an incredibly talented writer, so the way you tell the story, on the one hand, there's part of me that's smiling at the notion of, you know, adorable you skipping down this alley, and it's a, you're telling a well-told story, and then on the other hand, it's just, um, it's just devastating and deeply sad and this notion that you're just supposed to take it in stride and other people are just supposed to take it in stride that that's just not right yes that is that is true um i i feel like it's it's part taken in stride yes but also like once you say to your white friend oh my gosh you'll never believe what happened to me then you run the risk of them saying oh uh, grow up y you know anyone could have responded in any way to you so it's just it has felt safe to not be running around talking about it. You know what I mean? Yeah, and no, that's I, kind I, of sad yeah. but true. Well, also, I mean, in so many of the stories, the reaction of you know of, of a white person you happen to be with is also just so telling, and you know they are horrified often and angry and trying to defend you. I want to just play another story, part of another story that you share, because this one. Uh, yet again, I was just, uh, oh, well, let's just play this. My friend rolls down the window and the cop is super nice. Now I had never been stopped by a cop while a white man was around. And the respect this cop had for this white man in the suit, he goes, I stopped you because there's been a lot of prostitution. And I go, oh, I'm not a prostitute. <laughs> this cop has never believed anything less. He looks at our IDs and he asks us more questions. And my white friend is getting annoyed at this cop. And the cop can tell. But I'm like, oh my gosh, please just calm down and be cool. My friend says to the cop, he goes, you have nothing. You have to let us go. And I'm like, you just got me. But the cop goes, okay, but you have to leave. Okay, and that was it. <laughs> I mean, you, you're on your way to a party. You're feeling great about yourself. You're in, I think you said it was like a velvet dress or something, your favorite party dress. Uh, and this, and the, need, and the reaction is that you're a prostitute. I mean, and to me what made it even worse is you were upset that your friend is, you know, speaking back to the police officer saying, you have, you have to let us go. And, and I mean, it's just so messed up. Isn't that crazy? Because he ultimately, he was right. I wasn't running them wrong. And it, it, it's so obvious, you know, once you're telling these stories out loud, how conditioned you are to just take it. It's crazy. And you know, hopefully that's breaking. Uh, hopefully people can start to see, you know, their worth and their rights. Um, but Anderson, that outfit was gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> I have no doubt about that. I mean, look, I gotta tell you, your outfits in all of these bits that you're doing have been quite, you know, right on point. I mean, you're, you've, Anderson. Yeah, you've put some thought into it. You, you, I do, you, thank you for <laughs> I mean, I can wear the same thing every night. No one notices because no one cares what you know uh, this old man is wearing. But um, you, you, I've also heard you say that now is time for everyone to be angry and to be uncomfortable. Can you just talk about that a little bit? Because I've talked, I've been talking today to a number of protest leaders, uh, and, and they all talk about that idea of you know what, it's now is the time for you to be uncomfortable uh, because there's a lot of folks who have had to be uncomfortable every single day for an awfully long time. Yes, there has been. I mean, okay, so like I was saying a minute ago, 
when you tell a story like that to someone, they could get mad or um, the most common reaction is they feel very uncomfortable and you can tell and you kind of hurry through the story. You don't want to blah, blah, blah. But I think it's time for them to sit with that discomfort, you know, to, to hear it and let it really affect them because it's scary to look at that and know that you're subject to that happening over and over again. And a lot of white people can't even get near that thought. It's too painful. Meanwhile, we're running around living smack dab in the middle of it. Yeah. So yeah, let's get uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the, the uh, again, the reaction of your, you know, your friends who are white, who are with you in, in, in these various stories, it, again, it just, it's so, uh, you know, the, the reaction of the police officer when he sees your white friend and how, as you said, just it changed in a split second. In a split second. Yeah. It's nuts. I was at any time you tell a story like this to a black person, they go, yeah, man, what are you going to do? <laughs> and that's kind of like the extent of it. But uh, white people, their hearts are broken. They, they cannot fathom such a thing yeah. and they're right i'm gonna try to get like that yeah well uh amber often i'm glad i'm so glad you were on tonight because uh, i've just been watching what you've been doing and i just think it's really powerful and important so thank you i love you too anderson <laughs> <laughs> i was saying it with my eyes i'm you know i like to keep all my feelings deep down inside because it's what wasps do um Amber, thank you. <laughs> Actually, stick around in the commercial break if you will. I just want to say something to you off camera for a second. Uh, we'll be right there. Still ahead with all the calls to uh, reform police. We'll show you how one city dissolved its department.